part in this video, I'm going to begin to explain how it's not about what we want, and it's not about it's not about what I want, and it's not about what you want. It's about what God wants. And this is not to gossip. This is not to debate. It's not to argue. It's not to make conversation. This is about laying the hard truth out. This is about telling you what you need to hear rather than what your itching gears want you to hear. So, you have people out, out there who pick and choose what they want to follow and what, what they want to listen to and or who they want to listen to but they don't actually obey what God wants them to follow or what or who God wants them to listen to see if God sends a messenger your way a preacher your way a evangelist your way an apostle your way and you and you uh you say well I don't want to listen to you I want to listen I would rather listen to someone else well, it's not about who you want to listen to. God sent that messenger messenger your way for a reason. And if he's abiding in the truth, there's a reason why he's there. But if he's not aligned with the with the King James Bible, if he's not aligned with the truth and with the will of God, then he was not sent by God. So it's not about what you want. It's not about what I want. It's about what God wants. Yeah, you may want another. See, see if if you're not wanting to listen listen to me, and you're want and you have in your mind, oh well, I want to listen to another preacher. It's because I'm preaching something. I'm preaching the truth, and you don't and you can't handle the truth. It's because I'm preaching something your itching ears don't want you to hear. See, the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. Now, when you say that, oh, I would rather listen to someone else. What you're really saying is I want to find someone who would tell me what my itching ears want me to hear. That's that's who I want to listen to. Let me go find me someone to tell me what my itching ears want me to hear. Not what God wants me to hear, but what my itching ears want me to hear. That's really what you're saying when you say you want to listen to someone else. That's really what you're saying. Oh, forget what God wants for me. Forget the messengers that God himself sent to me for a reason. I don't want to listen to that messenger. I want to go find me another fable to tell me what my etching gears want me to hear. But I want to turn my ears from the truth so I can seek after that fable that would tell me it's okay to smoke weed. It's okay to get drunk on wine and strong drink. It's okay to fornicate. It's okay to remarry while my first spouse is still alive. It's okay to watch porn. It's okay to do all these things. It's okay to bow down and pray to Mary and pray to the dead saints. God didn't tell me I, I can't worship other other idols and idol other people. It's okay to play Grand Theft Auto video games and all these shoot 'em up video games that teach me to murder, kill, and steal, and steal cars and all this other type stuff. It's okay to do that. God don't care. You, you want to seek after preachers that will tell you stuff like that. But you don't want to hear the truth because you can't handle the truth. You love your flesh. So it's not about what you want. It's not about what you want. It's about what God wants. It's not about what I want and what my itching ears want me to hear. See, I would rather someone tell me the truth. I'd rather someone stomp on my toes rather than tell me something that is going to lead me into hell fire. Rather than twist the truth and water it down, and gummy bear and hug me straight to hell. I'd rather someone tell me the truth. It's not about what I want. It's about what God wants. Hallelujah. So yes, if God sent me your way, it doesn't matter if you don't want to hear me or not. Well, you have you have a choice not to hear, not to hear me. You have a choice to walk away. But God sent me for a reason for you to hear me. Do you have a choice? Do you have free will to choose to hear me out even though God sent me to you? Yes. But God is angry because you rejected me. God is angry with you because you rejected me. God will be angry with you. 
you most like, likely will have to face chastisement from God. Or he would reserve that, that anger until the day of judgment and judge you, judge you for what you, for rejecting me then. But you don't want to wait then because then it'll be too late to repent then. There is no forgiveness after death. Once you die, you can't ask for forgiveness then. That's what the pagan pagan churches, such as the Catholic Church, believe. They believe you can ask for, for forgiveness after death and cross over to the next life. No, you can't. You automatically go to hell after death. If you're not if you have not repented right while you were still breathing. So no, it's not about what you want or about what I want. It's about what God wants. Go in peace, brothers and sisters. Shalom.